Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Today we have a two-parter um, with some kind of bias towards uh, the deadlift in the skill piece, and then we include a lighter deadlift in the workout. So here's what the skill part looks like. You're going to have uh, five rounds. Each round is 90 seconds long and we are going to do three high box jumps. That height is up to each individual athlete and it is listed as a high box jump. Choose something that's high for you. And then three deadlifts. Goal is to start at somewhere around 60%. I know some of you aren't sure what that weight is. So work with the coach. We'll find something that uh, starts you out at that relatively moderate to moderately light weight and you can build through each one of those five sets. All right, so that is our skill. Let's talk about the workout. All right, the workout today is called Jukebox. Jukebox is going to be a five round workout for time, but we are putting a 20 minute time cap on this one. Due to having the skill and everything else we got going on, gotta stop somewhere. And 20 minutes is what we're doing. And should hopefully be a time that everyone can get through this uh, if we choose the correct weights and all that good stuff. So that five round workout is going to consist of 15 deadlifts, 12 box jumps, and then nine front squats. Same barbell for your deadlifts and front squats. So you have to choose uh, obviously a weight that you can front squat. The deadlift isn't really the movement you're basing your weight on today. Um, and for those box jumps, sorry, they're box jump overs, the height is 24 for the guys, 20 for the ladies. All right, let's talk about at home, and then we'll circle back and talk about strategizery and things. That's a word now. Get me, Stephanie. At homers, you guys have something a little bit different today. You're going to have a 15 minute AMRAP. You're gonna start off with 40 double unders, then go into 20 double dumbbell deadlifts and finish off that round with 10 double dumbbell front squats. So over and over again, 15 minutes. That's it, All right? Now let's talk strategy and rep schemes and breakups and all that fun stuff. All right, so in this two-parter, we have box jumps and deadlifts in both of them. In the first one in our skill, we're going with high boxes and heavy deadlifts. In part two, in the workout, we're going with lower boxes and lighter deadlifts. See how that works? Then um, in the workout, what we, uh, wait, back to the skill. Your three reps should be reps, uh, should be weights that you can go unbroken with all three. So your first few rounds are gonna be light, 60, 70%. Then maybe you know you're hitting 75, 80, 85. Maybe you get to 90 doing a, a three rep unbroken. Um, then when we circle back to the deadlifts, it should be a weight. You can front squat all nine when fresh. Uh, you're gonna have no problems with the deadlifts, but think about how the deadlifts will affect the box jumps and your front squat. So you probably take one quick break midway through those 15s, maybe say eight and seven. Uh, you keep moving on those box jump overs. You don't have to stand to full extension when going over the box, but both feet do need to touch the top of the box. Um, when you land on the ground on the other side, that completes the rep. Remember, go off the box backwards. It avoids all those little dancey steps, turning around and all that fun stuff. Saves you a lot of footwork. Then you get to those front squats. You have nine reps. Have the plan of at least getting to five every round. Decide, can I do four more? Or do I need a quick break, do a clean, get back going on those front squats, all right? So pretty simple today. You've got five rounds. Pick manageable breakup schemes. Keep moving and move well on the box jumps and uh, you'll be through it before you know it. All right, so that's it. Hop into class. If you're at home, shoot me a message. If you have any questions, equipment, weights, loading, any of that sort of thing, let me know and we can tweak the workout for you. And uh, that's it. We'll see you again tomorrow for another workout. Bye, everybody.